Still reeling from the devastating loss of DHL several years ago, things are looking up for Wilmington. WLWT News Size Karen Johnson is leading the way tonight with what the governor has in store for Wilmington families. In addition to bringing more than 250 jobs into the area, folks here in Wilmington say it's also a big morale booster. We want that noise around here. Noise is uh, money. Words from Governor like John Kasich as he spoke to a crowd of more than 300 inside a new guy. hangar at the Wilmington Air Park. I think people are more hopeful. Is it coming as quickly as we would like? No, of course it isn't. But Kasich says this 105 square foot aircraft maintenance hangar is a sign Wilmington Air Park is starting to rebuild itself. It's leased by Airborne Maintenance and Engineering Services, or AIMS, which provides maintenance, repair, and overhaul services at the site. They have the capability now to service the biggest planes in the world, including the 747. So, yeah, I think this is really terrific. And it's creating 259 jobs. The beauty of those 259 jobs is that every one of those will be tied, hopefully, to a local resident who has a family, who, who will be able to, to provide for their family. And those are the kind of jobs that we want at this air park. Those are aircraft maintenance and repair jobs. Five years ago, an economic storm devastated this area when DHL pulled out of the air park. 8,000 people were left without jobs. I said that day I thought the sun would come up. Now it's starting to rise. The city has got more than 1,000 jobs in addition to the 1,000 it's retained. And now the expansion of this hangar brings more hope. AIM says in the past it's been limited due to capacity constraints. Now it's hoping to attract larger fleet operations and eventually add even more jobs. And three years from now, officials here in Wilmington expect AIM's employment at the air park to exceed 640 positions. In Wilmington, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. The unemployment rate in Wilmington has decreased by more than half in just the last three years. In January of 2011, it was 15.4%. Now it stands just over 6.5%. So good.